Hey sports fans, we are officially one week away from the 2015 Hawaii Ironman World Championships held in Kona. Woo! Yeah! Hike it! Whether you're actually in Kona or you're watching from home, we have some great tips for you to make sure that you don't miss any of the coverage that happens over the next week. A few years ago, I might have had a little bit of influence on choosing where my wife and I spent our honeymoon. So we were lucky enough to actually watch the Hawaii Ironman World Championships in Kona. Whether you're doing that and you're in the town or you're at home, there are lots of options for you over the next week. Because there's so much to see and do, we're gonna go pretty fast here starting right meow. On social media, the hashtag I am Kona is what everyone uses. I particularly like the Instagram feed because it's got a lot of fun pictures throughout the week and it is just filled with coverage. Triathlete Magazine does some great coverage on Facebook. They've got videos, pictures all throughout the week. A link to their feed in the description below. You can check that out. My favorite coverage throughout the week are the video interviews that Bob Babbitt does called Breakfast with Bob at Huggos on the Rock with Puncho Man in the back playing the ukulele. They get pro athletes and all kinds of people involved with the event coming in for some candid interviews. It's a lot of fun. I'll link to that in the description below as well. Now I'm going to get to what you can do in the week leading up to the race if you're in Kona but if you're not stick around because I'll have where you can watch the best race coverage from home. If you are one of those lucky people that's actually in Kona this week I have six things. I have six things for you to check out while you're there. Number one, go to the expo and get some swag. I kid you not, my wife and I left that island with about 2,000 bucks worth of gear. It's incredible. Every single company is there giving out free samples for you to try. Second thing you should do, put on your favorite Speedo and go to Digby Beach, swim the four to 500 meters out to the coffee boat and have an espresso and meet some of the athletes and the people that are around during the week. The water's warm enough that you don't need a wetsuit, so just show up with your favorite budgie smuggler and a positive attitude and it'll be a good time. Third thing you're going to want to do is go for a run down Ali'i Drive on the course. I think it's about five miles from start to the turnaround and it's hotter than hell so make sure that you stop at all of the tents that the company set up along the way you can try out gels shoes bars get to know some of the people if you chat with them enough you might even get into some of their private parties that they hold throughout the week and meet some of the athletes you're going to see a lot of the athletes that are competing that week out on the course so it's incredible to see the level of fitness that's out there running up and down Ali'i Drive number four is check out the bikes at the expo there are so many companies out there that bring out their top end model bikes. And if you ask the companies, a lot of them hold demo rides throughout the week. So you're going to be able to line up a ride out to the Queen K Highway and see what the athletes are going to be dealing with in the isolation and the heat and the wind of Kona. So make sure that you check that out and get to experience that. Number five, go into the middle of town on Thursday and check out the underpants run. Even if you're not comfortable showing off your tidy whities go and check out 2,000 of the fittest people in the world running around in their gitch. It's hilarious. Finally, the night before the race, go to Huggos on the Rock and attend the thank goodness I'm not racing party. A lot of people that you never thought you'd get to rub elbows with are there and you can have a pile of drinks because you're not racing the next day and have a good time. Now, onto the race day coverage. If you're watching from home, you are going to have 17 hours of live coverage to choose from. It's commentated, it's filmed by helicopters, motorbikes, people on the course. It's awesome to watch. When that link goes live, I'll put it in the description below so you can find it here. If you want to find any one specific athlete, I'll also put a link in the description below to the live athlete tracker where you can see how your favorite athletes are performing and their splits along the course. People at home, don't go anywhere because I'm not done with you yet. If you're at the race, you're going to find out very quickly just how chaotic Kona is the morning of the Ironman World Championships. Finding a spot to watch the swim start is pretty tough. Where we watched the swim start was in this tucked away area in behind a coffee shop right on the main strip. So grab yourself a Java, go through the hallway. They've got free Wi-Fi there and it is a front row seat to the swim start. You'll get to see the helicopters, the pros going off in both waves, the washing machine of the age group athletes. It's really cool. That is one of the best parts of the day. As soon as you've had your fill of the swim start, walk the two blocks over to the hot corner because it fills up like a college football game. The athletes pass you, I believe it's four times in the matter of 35 minutes or so. So you can see why it gets so busy and you wanna get there early to stake out a good spot. Once you've had your fill of the hot corner, you're done for a few hours because the athletes are out on the Queen K Highway where you can't follow them. But 
you can go almost anywhere in town and they've got the live feed of the race going on. About four to five hours later, the athletes are going to be back in off the bike and you've got two really good options to see them on the run. The first option is if you want to be in the mix of things. Stay right in town on Elite You Drive and there are people everywhere. That's where it's crazy. But if you want to get a little bit more up close and personal with the athletes, Go about three miles down Ali'i Drive where there's less people and you can run alongside the athletes until you get tired or they give you a dirty look. I did it and they gave me a dirty look. Once the athletes leave town, again, you're done for a couple of hours because they're out on the Queen K Highway and in the Energy Lab and the area is controlled. So it's tough to get out there. Again, go back, watch the live feed. The male athletes should be finishing in about eight hours and 10 minutes and the female athletes should be finishing at about eight hours and 50 minutes. Go down to the finish line about an hour before the men start to stake your spot right at the finish line where you can give the high five and you can wave in the crowd. And you can see them go down the finish chute and you can get right up close and personal. As long as you get there early enough, you can have your nose hanging over the barrier. It's really cool. Finally, whether you're at home or you're in Kona, you have to watch the midnight finish to see some of the most inspiring athletes who've been out racing in the heat and humidity of Kona for 17 hours. And Mike Riley yelling, You are! The finish line, it turns into a party with Mike Riley pumping everyone up and people dancing. The winners come back and they congratulate the final finisher. They've got a live feed of it going, or if you're there in Kona, go down an hour beforehand again to get a good spot. You have to check it out. In my opinion, it is the best part of that day. There is a lot of great coverage over the next week, so I hope you enjoy it. If you're a returning A-Race subscriber, thank you as always, and hit that like button below. If you're new to A-Race and this is your first time here, we are for triathletes, swimmers, cyclists, runners, any endurance athlete who wants to get a little faster, have a little bit more fun with endurance sports, and figure out what gear to buy. So I'd love if you subscribed. Thanks as always, kill your next A-Race.